So my name is Jamaica Moore and I teach IP1, which is International Student Success here at Green River. It is a class designed to help new international students settle into life and studying here in the U.S. and at Green River. I meet with students twice a week in my portion of the class and we cover all sorts of things that are specific to students being successful in an academic classroom. So we focus on things like U.S. culture and classroom expectations at the beginning of the course. We focus on critical thinking, which is always a lot of fun. Um, we, For a lot of our students who are planning to transfer, we do a unit on transfer readiness and what do they need to do and we, we research universities and then we also cover academic honesty and we compare how the expectations here in the U.S. about regarding academic honesty are similar to and different from their home countries um, and we deal with how to help them be successful with those expectations in place. So I think we can see students benefit in a variety of ways. One of the things I like to tell students at the very beginning of class is the best part about the class is not actually all the information we give you, but it's the relationships we facilitate and the relationships that students build. So I think we see students start with a strong foundation and a good set of relationships. So one thing that's really fun to see in IP1 is just the change that you see in students even over their first quarter. We get them the first day of class and their eyes are big and they're very quiet and they're very nervous. Um, but they're there and they're, they want to do well and you can see that over the course of even just that first quarter of working in our class we see students grow in their ability to communicate and their willingness to participate and to volunteer information, their willingness to work in groups and to share and to get to know one another. Some of my favorite classes are those groups where I have to finally kick them out at the end of class and say go away now, talk to each other outside. But those relationships can really be they're really exciting and rewarding for me to see, but I know they're also really beneficial to students' ultimate success as well. Hi, I'm Erica. I teach some of the IP1 classes along with Jamaica. My favorite thing about this class is getting to not only help students with their academic journey, but also more with their holistic journey. So the part that I get to teach is really with the peer mentors. And I say I teach, but honestly, the peer mentors are the teachers of the class. They are facilitating the discussions. They are leading presentations. We partner each new student uh, with their peer mentor. So we have about five new students with one peer mentor, and that allows for those small group connections, uh, a chance to be able to trust somebody uh, with those questions that you may, may feel hesitant to ask somebody else. Our mentor would be in the class with you. We try to be as engaging with our material as possible. So there's a lot of uh, group activities, a lot of discussions, a lot of uh, games that happen within it. Uh, we think that learning through playing, learning through doing is one of the best forms for doing stuff. For another hour outside of that class time, you'll meet with your mentor and your group for what we call outside meetings. This is the time, like I mentioned before, where questions are perfect to ask. In the outside meeting, it's usually around campus. You could be playing a game, you could be sitting having coffee, you could be in the library. So hello everyone, my name is Lucas. I'm from Myanmar and I've been a peer mentor since 2023 summer. Hi everyone, my name is Camilla and I'm from Kyrgyzstan and I've been mentoring since fall 2023. Hi everyone, my name is Erica and I'm from Indonesia. I've been mentoring since fall 2023. So peer mentor is more like helping out the new students and since I've been interested in helping with the others, I, I thought that would be a really good fit job for me and that's how I become a peer mentor. My favorite part on being a peer mentor is being able to get to know uh, more people. Aside from like our mentees, we can also know like people from our class and also we get to know more about like our fellow peer mentors and we also gain friends from that uh, from this job. For becoming a peer mentor, it's not really important to be a perfect student to have 4.0 GPA or to be a perfect leader because as you start working and as you go with this program, you will improve on your own with your mentees. Uh, so one advice is just to be brave uh, to apply and then to have a willingness to improve. To be a peer mentor, you can just be yourself and 
don't change yourself on like being your how your peer mentor leads you before 